let's move <clears throat> so let's move from start what I'm talking <laughs> oh god quick room update la 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 hey guys welcome back to new vlog day of I don't know which day of the quarantine and just for the reference uh, from the previous walk I mentioned about the podcast I have in my laptop so I was listening to them and I found out that I actually do like podcasts but I don't think so I would listen to them every day I would listen to them when I need to socialize and have a conversation but in this conversation I will be quiet I know it sounds crazy but I just like I feel like sometimes I need somebody talking to me but for me no respond it's like I don't know if you guys ever felt that way I know it's strange but it just it's just how I feel something else just to be clear I don't really consider myself as an influencer or something like this I just feel I have the potential to show you my real personality, my point of view and I might be able to give you some advices and of course it will be a bonus if I make some friends. So the real reason I started my channel is because this was the only free time I had and when I actually left my job because I was working night shift and literally I was sleeping the whole day so it was impossible for me to start these things to record and thinking about content and all these YouTube things so yeah but that's not the only reason the other reason is because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and to do something different I'm gonna be honest with you guys I have this natural feature fragile self-confidence which I'm gonna explain now so for me personally this means that whatever I do I just feel like it's not good enough and I can do better so from one side I accept this as a good feature because in life you always want to improve you always want to be better and successful in whatever you do right so from this point okay but for me it gives me this feeling that I'm never gonna be completely happy and I'm always gonna need this missing part of the puzzle if you know what I mean and that's why I actually started this channel because I feel I'm gonna be proud of myself after a while of course when I see the changes and yeah, I think still I don't like how I look at all and I don't really think I'm good enough in YouTube and all this but I think I should be very proud of myself even now because almost three years ago when I first came in England with no English I improved so much, I made so many different people and this is so amazing and I cannot be more grateful honestly but the point is there's always this but in my life and I think this is my real obstacle and it's just in my head but starting this channel actually I think is gonna help me to see how I'm improving to see the difference after a while and there's actually people who are here from let's say five years and they still cannot speak English as good as me and I'm not saying I'm speaking good I still I'm not I've been making mistakes but it would be easy if I started channel in my language right so this is like a challenge for me and with that said I think I covered everything why I started this channel so let's move from why I started this channel to another subject so for today's video actually I decided to make a very quick room tour because I realized that actually I never showed you my room so obviously I'm renting and I really want to change this house and 
I hope this is gonna be happening very soon and yeah I just wanted to share with you like a little secret information because I don't know what is wrong with me I really don't but I have this obsession right now it's just the last few months I have like obsession about decorations houses and furnishing and all these things and every time I go out this is so strange I just look at houses and it's just like I don't know there's so many enviable houses out there and I just like feel like mm. I don't know why I'm doing this every time it's just like my reaction when something is very good and yeah just like I feel like I want my own house and to furnish and decorate everything the way I like and this is like a big dream right now and cut, orange cut is gonna be called four, definitely and this is the most strangest things ever but yeah I don't know it's just like mm, I need house right now <laughs> yeah but yeah so probably you've seen my room from all the videos and pictures and all these things and there are some like room updates so I think it's going to be like a interesting update. So, let's yeah. start with the door and this is nothing special so let's move on. The first thing you see is probably the bed because it's huge comparing to everything else. But before that, I have this small transparent Capricorn sign. It's from B&M and actually my boyfriend got me this as a gift with no reason. I guess I'm lucky because I really like it. And now the bed. I got this straw from B&M as well. And it's so soft, soft like my hair. The material is unbelievable. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is this donut. And I got it from Typo or Tipo, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna show you the label. And there's lights inside, so that's very cool. Next, I have this monkey, which again was present from my boyfriend from my previous birthday. And this little cute dinosaur with wings, so fancy. And I really like his eyes because they sparkling, so cute. After that, I have my pyjama set and my sleep mask from Soup and & Glory. And then there's a small cabinet. We got this from Amazon. We actually built it. And we have built the rest of the shelves in the room as well. Here I have moon shape desk lamp, which I'm using just night time. And this is actually present from my friend from college, but... I believe you can find this in Amazon as well. And then I have this cute fake cactus. I got this from Wilco, I think. And then this small donut purse where I keep my hair clips. Then these crystals I got from London History Museum. And they basically give you good energy. And this piece is from Necklace. I just kept it because... It reminds me of the moon. Next, this nail recover, which I keep here because I keep forgetting to apply it on my nails. So, here I keep all my necklaces and all this stuff. It's all dedicated to jewelry. And there's more hair bands here. This is from Primark. And Primark, you have my admirations for having all these cute girly homey things everything is so amazing i keep some other essentials here hansu baby powder and my hair vitamins under i have all my documents my diary and this colorful pen which co-worker from misguided gave me and honestly i love it and storage, I have this box from Look Fantastic where I keep all my pills. As you can see, this is very well stocked healthcare box. And here we have all the woman things. 
I'm just gonna show you everything from top to bottom so I have these four pieces canvas which I ordered from Amazon obviously the moon faces if you know me I'm just obsessed with the moon I always know when is full moon for instance the next month is gonna be 7th of May yeah you would see me staring at the moon when I was a kid I felt some kind of connection with the moon and since then I was just exploring the moon and as you can see my boyfriend has very good hanging skills and another cute box from Look Fantastic I really like the design of this box it's expressing all skin types which I think is great idea and here I have something special for me it's custom made and my friend made it and he is very good as you can see there is more skin and hair products this dinosaur which I have from the history museum as well my boyfriend's face he has only one all the rest are mine I know it's not fair but he just doesn't have so many things after that my camera, my tripod, my lenses and my headphones and here I keep all my charges and my hair extensions and then this Christmas paper for all the magical presents umbrella, of course I'm living in Manchester and small bin for the room and this shelf is from IKEA, it's huge I'm using four of the shelves and my boyfriend is using what's left too <laughs> and then ladies and gentlemen I have this diffuser smelling incredible then my perfumes from Victoria's Secret and Roberto Cavalli oh and this cute leaf I got from B&M yesterday even my boyfriend liked it and I just decided to put all my rings here I was on the way to B&M and I saw this little deer in the bushes and it was so beautiful, it's so cute and yeah, just like animals. The next thing I have is this wooden sign. Here I have some prints and then my protection glasses because I'm using them when I'm in front of the PC. Some cotton and reusable pads. And recently I started using extra makeup remover only for my eyes. This one is for sensitive eye area which is perfect for me. And for my face I use 2-in-1 cleanser and toner for normal and combination skin. This just works better for me. Then all my brushes and this flower here for decoration. I keep all of my lip balms here because it's very convenient instead of searching for them in the makeup bag all the time. And next my vintage tweezer, all my eyeshadow palettes and makeup, my mirror, I love it because it's pink obviously and it has close up side, more skincare. Then move on to the desk area. And these pillows are from Tesco or Asda and they are matching the draw and I found a website for wallpaper and they have the same design wallpaper and probably if I have my own house I would order. And then I have this small bench from Amazon, I believe it costs 30 or 40 pounds, it's velvet and there's storage, I keep all my bedding there. And I think I talked too much already and my mouth starts hurting me. Anyways, almost done. So I got this box from B&M and I think B&M is so underrated. There are so many nice things. I feel I can decorate all my house from B&M. And I got this box to keep my hair straightener, my hair dryer and my hair curler. It's just more organized. And this shelf as well is from Ikea. It's like open wardrobe oh I forgot the bed has storage as well and I keep my other donut here as well this is very important and this is my quick room tour which I hope so someday I'm gonna expand to house tour
and this is how I look with the glasses. And I think it's matching my outfit as well. Like, mm -hmm. like very summery. And now I'm just gonna show you how I make cookie dough, and it's so delicious. Let's go.